When I graduated from high school, I joined the Navy's nuclear power program as one of the very few females. After my training, I was the top of the class, so they had selected me to stay back as an instructor for a couple more years. From there, I actually went out to the fleet, did my time there for a couple years, got out of the Navy and went to work at the shipyard as one of their head nuclear testers. So when the ship would come in for maintenance, when we put everything back together, you have to test it and make sure it works right. That was what I got to do. So after about 15 years in the shipyard of the nuclear power program, I was looking for a change. I had started looking at several different companies and found Georgia Pacific. I found that they had a multitude of opportunities in several different locations that would definitely meet what I was looking for. And that's how I decided on paper mills. And paper mills is engineering. It's just a different side of the coin. Not only do you need math and science classes to be a great engineer, but one thing that most engineers need are spatial reasoning. You need to be able to look at an object and figure out how it's going to fit with everything else around it. I see the field of engineering evolving for women into limitless possibilities. There is engineering in almost every field, in every state, all across the country. So no matter what your interests are or your background is, there's a spot in engineering out there for you somewhere.